just because I want Steven to be writing this stuff down. Because you're doing your work? I actually did my work. All right, for this problem, um, now what we're going to be looking at is here's a standard problem where we're going to solve for our variable b. And on this variable b, we've got to look at what's happening to our variable. Well, it's being divided by negative 4, and it's also being added by, by positive 8. So we're solving for our equations. The first thing we want to do is always look to simplify. Where here we can't, um, we could get rid of this fraction by multiplying everything times negative four. That would be a possibility. Uh, but I'm just going to work through just a regular two-step uh, problem for you in a different way. So the first thing I always I would like to look at is undo whatever's being added or subtract to your variable. Well, I have an addition of a positive eight, so I'm going to want to subtract that eight. The reason why I'm subtracting that 8 is because 8 minus 8, minus eight is going to give me 0, and that's good. And then whatever you do on the left side of the equation, you have to do on the right side of the equal sign. So 5 minus negative 8 will give me a negative 3. And I went with b divided by negative 4. Now I have my variable is being divided by negative 4. So to undo division, I need to multiply by negative 4. And a lot of times when we're multiplying, we want to write it has a fraction. So I can just write negative 4 over 1 as my fraction. All right, so multiply a whole number times a fraction, just change to a fraction. Negative. You multiply across, this becomes negative 3 times negative 12. Or sorry, negative 3 times negative 4 becomes a positive 12. I don't need to write over 1. And those are what we're going to say are going to cancel out to be 1. So b equals 12. And that's how you solve that problem. Yeah. Thank you.